Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Lone Star. Today I'm showing you the new Minn Kota Taroba, or at least it's new to me, but it's the upgrade I have on the boat, the Ranger RT 178 Minn Kota Taroba. I want to show you a little bit of its features, what it does, what I like, what I don't like, and some of the mistakes I made when purchasing it but also things that I think have gone really well with it so far. So first of all, it does have spot lock. It also has the mega down imaging built into the motor, which is really, really cool. A couple of things that you'll also see here is the cables I really, really like because if you notice, they do not interfere at all with the rods on my deck. So this is all space that's open. You just have the cable here. And then here is your spot lock GPS Locator, coordinates, not really sure. Whatever you want to call that thing. You have your collar, uh, I guess uh, sleeve right here that changes the depth. So I'm gonna set it here. And then what's really cool is you have a simple power button to turn it on. So that turns on your troll motor and then you really push in and push down to drop the troll motor into the water. I'm not gonna do it all the way because it's I'll put it there, but you hear it kind of click and lock into place. Obviously, the collar is up really, really low. So normally it would be up to here and your troll motor would be down lower. And then it's really simple then to pull it back up. You literally would just push your foot on here when you're standing. Push your foot, you grab the motor head, slide it up, turn it, and you'll notice here there's brackets that are U-shaped that are going to receive the head. It grabs it, and if you'll Listen right here, this will pop into place. And that's how you know your trail motor is back in the stow position. So super easy, but the foot pedal is something that I wanna point out because it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna hop in the boat and I'll show you the foot pedal because it's a little bit unique or different than probably what you're used to. And I didn't know that it came this way, but I wanna highlight it just so you have an idea of what to expect. So let's check out the foot pedal. Okay, so here's the foot pedal. What I want to point out is I'll lower it down. It is flat, so it is a flat foot pedal. That is the bottom of it here. Um, what is cool about it though is you have your constant run, your autopilot, and this constant light comes on when you step here. The autopilot turns on when you step on autopilot. And then also, what's really cool is you're used to your normal foot pedal. Here's your uh, manual run and obviously your normal step that you step here to turn right and left. Uh, then you have your also your manual run and right and left controls here. So you've got two ways to steer. You've got right and left here, and you've also got your normal foot pedal here. Um, quick and easy little shift of speed, and then tap this spot right here for spot lock, and that is probably the best feature overall. But what you'll see uh, in this foot pedal is down here in the bottom, this is actually just two by fours that I built a platform um, that it sits on so that it still sits pretty flush on the boat. I'll kind of put the camera down on the bottom. You can see it sits really flush down on the boat. So it still is a recessed foot pedal, but I had to build this two by four because otherwise it would go all the way down just like a normal recessed foot pedal would. So, Something to, something to just be aware of. I'm not sure that I like that part or not, just because with it, let's see if I can explain this, with it out being recessed and with it being flat, your lever here, kind of the, the teeter-totter, if you will, of your foot pedal, doesn't actually go as high and as low as you normally would to turn. So there's not a whole lot of room to shift right and left here as you normally would with a foot pedal. So you have to get really used to that um, it's taken a couple of times going out, but I haven't had any problems so far. Uh, but I will tell you that the spot lock feature on this Tarova is fantastic. I was out at Lake Fork the other day in probably 10 to 12 mile hour winds and no problem at all. Hit the spot lock and it kept us in place, which again is just a quick tap right here. It does come with a remote control. It's actually in the box, uh, but it's your standard remote control. It does pair up uh, just by tapping the pair button, which I know is kind of dark, but there's a pair button right here on the control head. This is an 80 pound thrust. It does run off of two and it's 24 volts, so it runs off of two batteries. So I did have to buy an extra battery for this troll motor compared to the Minn Kota 45. But there it is, the Minn Kota Tarova. A quick overview. Here's the foot pedal. 
Again, you've got constant autopilot, spot lock, your controls for your speed. You've got both right and left, your um, manual run, and then again, your manual run here, and your buttons light up. Both of these light up if you have spot lock, one lights up for constant, one lights up for autopilot. So really cool feature, especially when you pair it with the Hummingbird and you put in your uh, card, uh, your Lake card. I think it's called the Lake Master. But when you put that in, you can actually then set your Minn Kota Tarova to, for example, a five foot contour line and it will autopilot around that five foot contour line across the lake and up shallow. So really pretty cool. So everything I wanted in this and it's about anywhere between a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars cheaper than the old Trex. Although the old Trex is like the king of all Minn Kotas, this one gets the job done and I like it so far. All right, guys, so that is it for the Minn Kota Tarova. Quick overview. If you've got any comments or questions, please drop them below. I'll be sure to answer them for you. And as always, thanks for liking this video. Drop me a comment, let me know if you have any questions. And thanks for subscribing to Fishing the Lone Star. The channel is growing, and I appreciate it because you're helping out. Penobe Soldier Day, God loves you, and so do I. Peace out.